While searching for some new ideas to upcycle old jeans, I ran across these fantastic creations from the ingenious folks at Pinterest. There are some really great ideas on this list and I'd like to recreate one myself. Please vote for your favorite in the comments below and give a like indicating that you voted. Once I get 100 votes or 100 likes, I will recreate the winning ideas. Use the pattern in the middle of the image to make these simple slippers. Cut up several pieces of old jeans into squares. Sew them together and you have yourself a nice blanket. Use the image as a pattern to make this piece of art. Print it out and use a window to draw the pieces you'll need to cut out. Then put them all together and you have yourself a really nice and unique piece of horse art. Me! Probably cut that out. Cut the top off of your jeans. Go around the side until you get to the back pocket. Cut around the back pocket to make the pocket you see in the picture. Add additional pockets, other embellishments, and decorative beads. Make a lining for your new side pouch and you are all set. Take the top off of some jeans a few inches below the back pockets. Sew the bottom shut. Use the denim from the legs to make the handle. This wreath is so easy to make. First, get a foam wreath from your local craft store. Cut 2 inch by 2 inch squares out of the denim. To get the denim to stay on the wreath form, take a pencil and using the eraser portion, put the pencil in the middle of the square. Next, press that into your wreath form. Do this until the wreath is covered. You don't have to do the back since it won't be seen. Last, add the flowers, bandana, and other embellishments to your wreath, and you are all set. What a fun and unique way to make a Christmas stocking. Trace the shape of a stocking onto your denim. You can use an old Christmas stocking to trace. I like how the pocket is on the outside of this stocking. Now wait for your coal and enjoy your holiday. Cut off a pant leg from an old pair of jeans. Use this picture as a reference as to how to cut the purse section out of the leg. Be sure to sew the bottom of the leg together. Use an old tie or anything you like for the handle. Simply sew it onto the jeans purse and you're set. Good job. Use the pillow on the image for reference. Cut strips to look like waves. Add the tail and you have created yourself a masterpiece. Bye. 
For these pants, get some iron-on transfers and make sure they're of good quality. Make sure the iron-on transfer is fully cured onto your jeans. Now you have a one-of-a-kind pair of jeans that no one else can say they made. Cut off the waistband of several pairs of jeans. Cut just below the waistband to allow room for one of the inner seams that holds the waistbands together. Sew them in a circle and cut the round top. You can use anything for the bottom since it won't be seen. And be sure to put plenty of stuffing in the ottoman. Now enjoy your new creation. These pants are made just the same as the other ones I spoke of earlier in the video, using an iron-on transfer. I absolutely love the sunflowers on these jeans. I would really like to recreate something like this myself. So vote for it, okay? And don't tell anybody I told you to vote for it. Wouldn't be fair. Get a pair of flared leg jeans. Make horizontal cuts all the way down to the knee on the pants in the front. Take another pair of jeans and cut off just the legs. Cut the leg into strips. Leave some of the jeans together at the top so you can sew this to your jeans that you are upcycling. Then throw them in the washer and dryer to create the fringe. I continue to be impressed by these creative ideas. We're not done yet, but I wanted to thank you for watching the video. And if you're getting value, please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another creative post. If you'd like to give a super thanks, I'd definitely accept it, although not mandatory at all. And a thumbs up would really help the channel so I can continue making videos. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you got value out of this video, which you know you did. And then go ahead and hit that thumbs up button to help push it out to other people that can get value out of this video. Have a fantastic day and thanks for watching. Peace out.